What is your favorite species of lemur? I would say that's the mongoose lemur. I worked with them down in Florida. I just like them because they're smaller, cute. They make these cute little pig noises all the time. They're also very curious. So anytime we gave them new enrichment or anything, they would immediately go in scent market. So all lemur species like to do the scent marking, but with those guys, it was instant. They would like everything to be stinky, everything to smell like them. So they were just the most fun to be around. What would you say are some of the greatest risks that mongoose lemurs face in the wild? So they're being affected by the slash and burn agriculture. So their forests are getting cut down. Uh, fields are being placed up. They're also uh, mining in their habitat. Um, mongoose lemurs, like other lemurs, are getting trapped for pet trade, and they can also be hunted for food. Where are they typically found in the wild? They're in Madagascar, so more specifically, I believe they're in the northeastern part in these dry forests. What do they usually eat? Like, what is the typical mongoose lemur diet? So, in the wild, um, mainly eating fruit, um, and also they eat a lot of browse, so leaves, woody parts of um, plants, and um, the flowers. But in captivity, where I've worked with them, we feed them usually a chow biscuit and then different fruits and veggies. What are the best things that humanity could be doing to help improve overall life quality and... Ecotourism actually really helps um, all lemurs in Madagascar. That's if you can make it over to Madagascar and you pay for things like seeing them in the wild, not seeing them in hotels or holding them for pictures, but just going to pay the local people to take you out into the forest, bringing money into their like businesses to do that. Um, and then it makes them want to save the forests because people are coming in to view them instead of just, you know, buying lemurs on the street. And it really, kind of does that, but a lot of times, you know, people can't just take a trip to Madagascar and spend that kind of money. So there's great things set up here, like the Lemur Conservation Foundation, which I worked in Florida. They do a lot of conservation over there, teaching local people about the agriculture, doing studies on logging and everything. So they're trying to teach the local people. So if you support businesses and donations like that, um, I know Duke Lemur Center also has places set up, um, so they are always accepting donations, and that's a great way to learn about that. And even going to like your zoos that have them and listening to the message and just learning more about lemurs can really help spread the conservation message if you can't do much more than that. Uh, well, what would you say a mongoose lemur's favorite thing to do in their free time is? Do they play with toys often? He did give our guys a lot of um, different furniture items to sit in and play in. I would say they do like to explore those things. Like I was saying before, they like to make everything stinky. So I would say, yes, they do like to play. Um, we also had some free ranging mongoose lemurs down in Florida. And anytime they were out, they were chasing squirrels, chasing birds, just roughhousing with each other. Uh, they like to, they're pretty social. They like to play with the other species of lemurs we had in the, out in the forest. So we had red ruffs and ringtail lemurs. So they were always just getting into mischief with them. What do you when it's a lemur's birthday? Do they get like a cake? Oh, so we actually just celebrated our lemurs in um, the Smithsonian National Zoo, their birthday. So they're all, um, they're seasonal breeders, so a lot of our lemurs are born around the same time in early spring to summer months, so we usually do a big party, and uh, just the other day we got an ice cake from our commissary, and we set up little pieces of that throughout the island um, at the National Zoo, and they got to explore that. We also gave them just bags and boxes and things that were painted like presents and things. 
a different sort of enrichment for them to explore, but we also didn't want to give them too many items out there because the ice cake did have a lot of their nutritional value, so we didn't want them to be not hungry enough to come inside at the end of the day, um, because at the National Zoo we need to bring them back inside to secure them overnight.